Welcome back fans and friends. As promised in the earlier video, I have another Vintage Ad Cars Series 7 vehicle. That one is the 1963 Chevrolet Impala. It just happened to be beside the Ford Thunderbird, so I thought, you know what, I actually don't have a single Impala, so why not add it? And we're just going to take a quick look at the vehicle. I do really like the rear lights, that triple system there, in contrast to the Ford Thunderbird of the previous video, which is also nice. Uh, I just noticed now that uh, there is a different hood between all three of those Thunderbirds and a different rear setup between all three of those Thunderbirds. Anyway, that's a Ford Thunderbird thing not in Impala 1963, the Sport Coupe model of the vehicle, as we can see there, the two doors. And so I pointed out last time, Thunderbird, there's no gap, but also the interior is red as well, so maybe it just doesn't stick out as much. So I'm going to go over this one really quickly. The front of it, we have the Series 7 Vintage Ad Cars. We have all the stuff on the right side. Limited edition, die-cast metal chases, contains one vehicle. The 14 Plus and its scaling. And on the back, the most important part is this This is 049, which is almost exactly the same as that Thunderbird. And then the 14562M, we have all three major top, so the top level of all three of these companies. Datsun, which is a Nissan, and then the other two, which are GMs. So this one is GM, this one is GM, that's Ford, and that's Ford. And then obviously the Cadillac is also GM as well. And here's the ad. Once again, talking about how nice this car is to drive. Nice and quiet, smooth ride. What you're getting for your money. And both of them, uh, this one has an interesting, is an aircraft, and the Ford Thunderbird did not have it. Ford actually built the tri-motor, so they've actually built the car. However, we do here have Fisher, which used to make bodies for a great many things, and they talk about the electrolytes used to keep the car from rusting. Another interesting fact. So, there we have it. Nice drive out in the sun for those of you who have owned an Impala. Unfortunately, Greenlight does not uh, do anything with these license plates. So, I mean like the Black Bandit which I find not serious, but it's just one of those things that they could make it so much better if they just standardized it, I don't know. Maybe I'm alone on this, so here we have, taking it out of its package. Everybody knows the insert it comes with by now. There we have it, the white wall tires, so there's a little chip on the wheel there, but the white wall tires appear to be 99% done correctly, which the last two vehicles, hopefully on this side, is done correctly too. Yes, it is. So there we go. See how nice it looks when everything is done properly. I do see a gap, but the difference is the gap because the interior of the car is red. It's not as noticeable. The Thunderbird had it black, and so when you look at it, it is noticeable. And so, unfortunately, I am looking at this car. We're all looking at this car. You can see just under the wipers. They have not painted it the same car color as the rest of the vehicle. So... But if you look at the driver's seat and the steering wheel has both the gear shifter and the turn signal uh, rods used to obviously function the car. But that mist paint, I mean, really, I didn't see it on the outside, but there it is. So if you do buy it and you're looking into that, you can see right away they've sort of mispainted it. Just going over quickly, there's the deer jumping, the Impala symbol. Uh, other than that, we have there. It is a checkered flag, so for the racing series, I believe, these vehicles may or may not have been used in NASCAR. They are were used in NASCAR uh, Monte Carlo as well. There's the Chevrolet symbol in the center of the hood. Always nice to see when it's done properly. No major issues on the front of the vehicle, other than that, obviously, the uh, defroster is mispaint. And then we have the indicators just below the double headlight setup. Everything else, the bumper looks to be finished. I brought it up with the Camaros. When you don't finish the bumper, it looks terrible. That's what it looks like when it's finished. The gas cap is the only major difference between the right and the left side. The door handle's painted in nice and evenly. Uh, just to the rear of the car, like I said, one of the best parts about this car was obviously uh, the rear lights. So what I was looking at is it looks to me like this is done unevenly. What I mean by that is there is a line on the right side that is not on the left side. You can see there, silver, and it's not silver over there. I guess another mispaint, which is sort of a letdown. 
uh, just moving to the underside of the vehicle, that's all we have left. There's the reference number for its limited edition. You can see there the double muffler setup for the vehicle. There's the rear wheel drive transfer case 2021, so it's a relatively new release. GL 2009 for those keeping track, and there we have it 1963 Chevrolet Impala 04922 and the 0562M. So everything else seems to be done, except like I said, except for that little chip. The mispainting or just another def wipers for the defroster. No rear view mirrors, but at this point, uh, I don't know if they're ever going to change it. They want to make use of the molds. We see there is not as much of a gap, but there still is a gap. So that's kind of a letdown as well. But overall, uh, let's just do the roll test before I start talking about how... And then it's, it's, look at that. No wobble, nothing. Wants to go, it wants to go. So uh, the last thing we have to do is pop the hood because it's an overhang, nice and easy. And for once, they have done an excellent, not for once, again, they have put a largely orange engine, silver filter and intake on the top, which is contrasted to the black all around it. And the little metal silver clip for the hood, which obviously this thing won't have, is nice and easy to tell apart. They have painted both of the support rods the same. Those are the two things in the back. I brought it up a few times. The green light occasionally misses it, but they've done it here. So there you have it, the engine of the Impala. Otherwise, reasonably well done. The major issues being the mispaint under the wipers and that little trunk thing where one side is more silver than the other for some unknown reason. But the bumpers are finished. Everything else seems to be painted correctly. We have it clearly the racing thing and the deer jump on the back of it so we know it's an Impala car rolls the white wall tires are done well so nothing else to complain about this is the vintage ad car series 7 1963 Chevrolet Impala from Greenlight this is Thomas from Toronto and thanks for watching